Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, I want to give the clear information regarding the first order logic and uh, predicate logic. Okay, so what is the first order logic and what is the predicate logic? Actually, in the proposition logic, what we have seen in the prior videos, there we can only represent the facts, the facts which are either true value or false value. That means that any statement, the universal truth or universal false statement, whatever it is, the truth validity is only one, are they true or false. For example, the sun rises in the east and the sun sets in the west. These are uh, true values always. Okay. So, but what is the main thing here we have to observe is in the predicate knowledge, it's not sufficient to represent the complex sentences or natural language statements. Okay. So, this is not uh, sufficient to represent some of the statements like natural language statements. So, for that, uh, we are using the first order logic or uh, one other way which provide the way of the knowledge representation which can be act as the extension of the proposition logic. Okay. So, it is highly expressive and uh, very good manner we can represent the natural language statements in a good manner. It is also known as the predicate logic or first order predicate logic. Okay, so it is a powerful language which develops some kind of one minute. Okay, so which is a powerful language and it develops the information of set of objects and uh, how can we can relation, we can uh, establish the relationships among the objects and uh, how easily we can represent the relationships among the objects and all these things we are going to see in the predicate logic or the first order logic. Okay, so uh, not only assumes the real world facts, but also it can have the things like objects, people, numbers, colors, wars, theories, squares, fits, compass, each and everything it contains, the certain number of the objects and their relationships. It also include the proposition logic, not only the proposition logic, it can also be uh, treated as the extension of the proposition logic and also contain the objects and the set of relationships. So, what, the, what are the various kinds of the relationships? It can be the unary relationship like a red, round, is adjacent or unary relationship that is sister of, brother of, has color, comes between and uh, other kind of the functions like a father of, best friend, third inning of, end of, these are the functions. Like that unary, unary and some set of the functions can be represented in the predicate logic. And one more thing here we have to see here is Predicate logic is divided into some set of the things like uh, constants, variables, predicates, functions, connectives and as well as the quantifiers. Constants 1, 2, A, John, Mumbai, Cat, these are the constants. Variables X, Y, Z, A, comma, B are the variables and predicate brother, father, greater than, etc. And functions like uh, square root, left leg of, etc. And connectives end or negation, implication by implication and as well as the equality. And the quantifiers like uh, for exist, uh, sorry, for all and uh, their existence. These are the two quantifiers, universal quantifiers that we can use. These are the other things relevant to the predicate logic. Okay. So, the first order logic statements normally can be divided into two parts, the subject and the predicate. Remember, what is the subject? If subject is considered as the main part of the statement and predicate, the predicate can be defined as it may be a relation and it is the relationship between two atoms or two another objects in the statement. So, that is the predicate. For example, see X is an integer where X is considered as the subject and is an integer is considered as the predicate. Why? Because it is defining a relation between uh, x and as well as integer, okay. So, like this, the first order logic statements can be divided into parts like this, okay. And what are the quantifiers in the first order logic actually? A quantifier is the element of the language and it represents the quantification and uh, the quantification specifies the quantity of the universe of this course. That means uh, what is the quantification, how many number of the things satisfies this particular thing like that. Uh, the exact quantification can be represented using the quantifiers. It is a part and parcel of the predicate logic or the first order logic uh, and as well as it is a language element. Okay, so ex what are the various available constant quantifiers in our uh, first order logic? These are the symbols normally 
uh, that permit to determine or identify the range and scope of the variable in the logical expression okay the range and scope of the variable first of all we are going to see the universal quantifier this universal quantifier can be represented as for all everyone and everything okay so for sometimes we use the another kind of the quantifier also that is called as existential quantifier this can be treated as for some or at least one okay so we, we have to differentiate these two both very carefully number one universal quantifier for all everyone and everything and existential quantifier for some or at least one okay so what is the universal quantifier it is a symbol of logic expression or logical representation it specifies that the statement within its range is true or everything or every instance of a particular thing universally satisfying it is true value or false okay so for example we see the universal quantifier universal quantifier normally represented the symbol called for all like this this is the symbol this is called as for all let us see the x1 drinks coffee and x2 also drinks drinks coffee and x3 also drinks coffee and the same manner like uh, like xn also drinks coffee that means all the x that starts from 1 to n uh, men are uh, having a habit of drinking coffee okay so now see in the set x1 x2 x3 x5 x4 x5 and xn are man universe of discourse so we can conclude that for all x for all man can drink coffee that means for all x man of x is drink of x coffee so there are all x where x is a man who drinks coffee x is a man one to n number of the man can have the habit of drinking coffee this can be represented like this uh, these are all x where x is the man who drinks the coffee so like this uh, the for all can be unifer uh, called as the universal quantifier so it is applicable for all that means whatever quality wa whatever quantity sorry whatever quality that you are representing that can be representing for all quantity universal quantities that is nothing but for all okay the next one is the existential quantifiers so what are the existential quantifiers normally this express the statement within the scope is true for at least some of the uh, some instance of the thing not for all for example you want to say this uh, quality is applicable for only some of the things that can we can applicable with the help of the their existence quantifiers existential quantifiers are the different kinds of the quantifiers uh, from the universal quantifiers where only some set some part it is applicable then you can use this kind of the existential quantifiers normally this existential quantifier can be represented by using this kind of the there exist symbol uh, which is resembles the inverted e actually On, okay so it is also used with the predicate variable that is also called as the existential quantifier okay let us see for example in the existential quantifier x1 is the intelligent or x2 is intelligent or x3 is intelligent or likewise xn is also intelligent so what we are saying here is x1 x2 x3 xn number of the boys in the universal of the boys only few are intelligent okay so that means some boys are intelligent in the university of discourse not all it is applicable this quality is not applicable for all this quality is applicable for only some of the people like uh, x1 or x3 uh, x3 or uh, x4 or whatever it is the refer referred numbers okay so some boys are intelligent this can be represented as their existence x let us see this example how it can be converted in the predicate logic or first order logic that is their existence x boys of x and intelligent of x there are some x where x is a boy who is an intelligent okay so like this you can represent the universal quantifiers like uh, exist and as well as the existential quantifiers universal quantifier the best example is for all and uh, there exist ones where is comes under the existential quantifiers that means uh, it is applicable to um, some set of the uh, only some set of the universe of discourse whereas in the uh, universal quantifier is applicable to total set of the university of discourse okay so what are the main connectives used for this particular quantifiers now we are going to see the main connective for universal quantifier for all is the implication okay we can use the uh, for all uh, symbol normally for the connective okay so this is this can be used normally as the c like this for all x man of x2 implication here we have used man of x2 drink of x comma uh, coffee drink of x comma coffee in the same manner for their existence x the connective is end 
let us see in this example their existence of x boys of x and intelligent of x that means uh, whenever you want to connect two things with the help of the whenever you are using this their existence quantifier you have to use this n symbol in the same manner here also for all x man of x is the by is a, sorry single implication symbol that you will use to represent this universal quantifier okay so like this the connectives are mandatory you have to blindly remember these connectives so for which kind of the connectives what kind of the sorry which kind of the quantifiers what kind of the connectives are you going to be used number one that is for all is implication and their existence is end okay so next we are going to see some set of the axioms uh, what are the various kinds of axioms okay so these are the some set of the axioms i have given as the example for example in the predicate logic or the first order logic we are representing man was a mark marcus was a man so this can be represented in the set of the axioms as a man of marcus and marcus was pompeian pompeian of marcus and all pompeians were romans this can be represented as for all okay universe of discourse for all x pompeian of x implies roman of x previously i told the connective for the universal quantifier is implication here also we have used the same symbol that is the um, implication in the universal quantification called for all okay so next we are going to talk about the caesar was a ruler rural of caesar and next look at the fifth example what it is saying is all the pompeians are either loyal to caesar or hated him that means universe it is applicable to total universe for all okay so uh, for all for all x roman of x2 loyal to x of x or hate of x comma caesar either loyal to x or hate that means we can write simply as loyal to or hate okay this can be again rewritten as for all x roman of x or for all x roman of x to loyal to x comma caesar and negation hate of x comma caesar or negation loyal to x comma caesar and hate of x comma caesar that means one is we can make it as the negative okay so the other we can make it as the positive in the both of the predicates the same and we have put r symbol here and uh, the remaining negation loyal to x comma caesar and hate of x comma caesar so whenever the terms get cancelled we are having the resultant as loyal to x comma caesar or hate of x comma caesar the same thing i have written the rewritten like this okay so these are the some set of the axioms another set of the axioms what are the another uh, kind of the axioms or we will discuss some of the other kind of the axioms in the other video okay now we are going to see what are the properties of the quantifiers the properties of the quantifier quantifiers can be described as for all x and for all, for all x for all y is same as for all y for all x so we can rewrite rewrite the same thing as as it is for all x for all y is same as for all y for all x in the same manner their existence x their existence y is same as their existence y their existence x okay so this one and the third one their existence x for all y is not same as for all y their existence x see whenever you are having the two same their exists and two same for all it is if you have rewritten in the reverse order it's okay but whenever you are using two different kinds of the quantifiers it's not same that's what it is saying their existence x for all x loves comma x comma y there is a person who loves everyone in the world the for all y their existence x loves comma x comma y everyone in the world is loved by at least one person for this is the example okay so like this uh, their existence x for all y loves comma x comma y means there is a person who loves everyone in the world and now coming to the, their existence y Mm, sorry for all y their existence x loves comma x comma y everyone in the world is loved by at least one person like this the properties can be represented now coming to the next one the quantifier duality how it can be represented each can be expressed using other for all x likes x comma ice cream negation their existence x negation likes x comma ice cream and their existence x x comma broccoli and uh, uh, so um, the negation of for all x negation likes x comma broccoli 
this can be represent it can be represented using other anything can be same here okay anything can be represented like this so these are the properties quantified duality each can be expressed using other here like this also you can represent for all x likes x comma ice cream can be represented as negation their existence x and negation likes x comma ice cream and coming to the second one their existence x likes x comma broccoli is represented as negation of for all x uh, negation of likes x comma broccoli like that like this we can represent the properties of the quantifiers like this so these are the some set of the axioms so properties of the quantifiers main connectives and uh, existential quantifiers and unifier uni universal quantifiers and the first order logic and as well as the predicate logic okay so this is nothing but first order logic or predicate logic if at all uh, anybody didn't subscribe much thank you one and all okay so please watch all my videos which are coming further and if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials i want to say thank you to one and all thank you